you have to take care about yes all the air condition all the situation you know where you're living i mean if it's too warm if it's too cold if it's too windy it's difficult but it's very but at the same time it's very easy because it's always with you so you just need to warm up a little bit and then it's ready well i'm coming from a musical family my father and my mother are both singers and uh, so i grew up in an opera and um and I decided to having, I mean, uh, I was studying music, uh, piano, and uh, but um, I decided to have lesson with my mother. She's my teacher, so and I start with her when I was 13, 14 years old. Yes. Yes, when I was talking with Maestro Gergiev, he said, oh yes, of course, Mozart, uh, the music of Mozart is, uh, is wonderful, is uh, genial, and uh, maybe we can try to do some Mozart uh, uh, music together. And, uh, and I, I mean, of course, uh, I think it's unusual repertoire for him, Rossini and Mozart, but, uh, but I think he, he loved this music. And then uh, yesterday when we had the rehearsal, today we're going to have a rehearsal. And, and I have the feeling that really he enjoyed to do that. And, and of course I'm joined to, to do this with him and with the orchestra because it's, uh, it's like, um, yeah, it's a very nice collaboration. There is a chemistry, I think. This is what is, is extremely important, yeah. <laughs> Of course, the sound of the Oscar is very beautiful, <laughs> very rich. And but I think um, also uh, the orchestra they they have the capability of flexibility, and then flexibility. So they're listening to 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 the soloist, and then and they love to make dialogues. I think uh, orchestra. I mean, the, at least the impression that I had yesterday was also. I mean, everybody were really attentive, you know, and. Uh, the concertmeister was at attentive to really to try to to combine you know the sound of the voice with the sound of the orchestra and make it a nice nice color together yeah This hall is great. The the I um, I really have the feeling that the, in this hall you can do whatever you like with you know whatever you like to do with from from colors from very uh, piano to crescendo to fortissimo to diminuendo. This is a hall which uh, makes your voice f floating, and you know this is and you can uh, as I said yesterday, I have the feeling that you can really paint with with voice and do so many colors and so many details yes then of course when you have music you can also express this into this hall because the hall is is rich and velvet sound i think i always like to uh, to find something new uh, repertoire and uh, to do research in the old repertoire i mean the uh, baroque and uh, music, but but who knows? Maybe maybe some modern music also can be uh, something interesting to explore. Yes, in the in the future. Well, not uh, Russian. Uh, the very you mean the romantic, uh, the very romantic music. Well, not yet, but because uh, of course, for I think for uh, for romantic music, um, uh, you, I mean, you need a different instrument. 
you know. And I think my instrument suits more the music of, of uh, 18th century and, as you said, beginning of 19th century. And maybe some French, uh, some French also repertoire, uh, but, but still, um, I think modern music, if I have a composer who will compose, I mean, a Russian composer who will compose a piece for my voice, which suits my voice, actually, I, I will definitely consider that. Well, again, I, I don't know. I just thought so, but but I'm here. I'm in in, in Russia for 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 a, for a small tour because after here I'm going to Moscow and and Kazan. And uh, well, I I really hope to come back here definitely. Maybe with an with a with a stage production or maybe with another concert. Maybe with some Russian music. Who knows? <laughs>